Oh, I have many, many hobbies. I like to work with my hands and make things. It was devastating. I had a granddad that died of leukemia. Of course, that was 50 years ago, but it was <clears throat> absolutely devastating when we got the diagnosis that I had leukemia. For many years, we knew that bone marrow transplant could cure uh, patients with certain blood cancers. However, they would have to have a perfectly matched sibling donor. Statistically, only about 30% would have a perfect match. They felt like I was a good candidate for a bone marrow transplant, but we needed to find a donor. For many years, 70% of the patients who needed a transplant couldn't get it, and so they were destined to die from their disease. They didn't think if I went to the donor bank that they would be able to find one soon enough. We tried back in the 80s to see if we could use half-matched siblings or half-matched family members. And for many, many years, it was not possible to do these types of transplants. We now have half-matched transplant technology for patients who in the past would be told that they couldn't get a transplant. Now we can tell 95% of patients, you can get the treatment you need to be cured. And I have four children. My two girls could not donate. Well, both my boys tested equally as well. And they just kind of almost flipped a coin. Even to this day, there's only few programs in the world who have embraced this new way of doing it, with the data telling us that that definitely is the way of the future. My oldest son, Ryan, I mean, he basically saved my life. And uh, I don't know how you ever can tell a person enough or how you can explain to them that they, what they have done.